What's up everyone? I'm back. It's Danny, Thirsty for Foam. I was in Florida for a week. Um, I picked up some blasters. I had some delivered. I've been building stuff like right before I left and then I took it with me to play with it a little bit in the hotel room. So I've got a few things to share. Um, I know everybody, it's, it's an exciting time right now with all new stuff coming out. So uh, let's not hold it up anymore. First one up, the Gnarl from Siren Blasters. Uh, it says nothing comes close. I don't know. We got some stuff that comes close, I'm sure. But uh, yeah, it comes in a box. Had instructions. It comes with let's see, one clear mag. Uh, it's a little tiny little guy. Um, it's a little shaky. I don't know if you can see the offset of the darts, but the spring's good. And when it gets to the top, it does a good job of centering using the feed lips. So let's hope that it feeds all right. Um, I have not used this. Um, I just ripped it out the box for this review. Um, it has a sight that it came with here. Um, it looks like it's sighted up pretty pretty well. A lot of reviewers say, you know, that the sights, ah, blah, 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 you know, it's not really usable. Um, I kind of defer. I kind of say a lot of the sights on a lot of these blasters actually work really well. Uh, some of them don't, you know, but um, what was it? The last Nexus Pro x that one the sight i know it's a big goofy sniper sight but it lines right up with the center even though it's a drop barrel it i hit the target every time um what else what else anyways i don't want to digress too much so let's uh see how this this pull is let me see i guess right here oh your finger kind of fits it. so i guess if you have a fat finger this is going to suck for you the prime is I'll put it back in i don't know oh yeah i do so you prime it back, push it back in. There's no return spring on it, so you kind of push it back. And see how ill-equipped I am. Let's see, chronograph. Let's get one of these new whatever muffingle darts. 156. That's nice and spicy. I don't know what it's going to do on the uh, the uh, darts on darts, but 159. That's super spicy. So let's... Uh, Let's see if it'll keep going. Should I cut the... Yeah, let's do the other two. Why not? So, cut out the unboxing, so... Let's get some more FPS. Is it going to just keep doing that? 156? That's nice. I mean, again, I don't have good judgment on her darts. I've never taken it to a range. 161. She's getting warmed up, fellas. Let's see. I think I got some mixed AF pros and... Uh, one ruby in there looks like all way of pros. Uh, let's test out talent compatibility. That sucker's going right in, looks like. The prime is not horrible. The grip is pretty terrible, to be honest. Uh, it's what I expected. I mean, I can, I can see the silhouette. Uh, let's see what we got on ruby. Ruby 134, that's the difference. So there must be a huge weight difference. I don't scale my darts. Um, I haven't gotten that geeky yet. Even after all of these years, I kind of just watched other reviewers let them scale the darts, right? Ooh, 149. So that's some inconsistency. But again, these are used darts. So continuing AF pose. 149.8. That's consistent. 143. That's not too bad of a deviation. That's terrible to do that. Right. And 143.6. We got one more. I'll do one more. Why not? I kind of like this thing. I wish it was a little, cost me a little cheaper. It was like, I guess after shipping and everything and the discount, it was still around $30. But for a small form factor, my finger fits in. Bigger fingers probably won't. Um, the prime is uh, so so. It's a medium to heavy, you know, depending on what your thing is you know what your opinion is I'll, I'll prime a 20 kg whatever you know but um, I'm not gonna want to use it all game so I like a usable prime but it's a usable prime it's a little bit on the heavy side for the small form factor but um, I know people who run the pistol springer classes that feel much heavier I got one review actually so <clears throat> another exciting one let's move on to I don't know if you guys already know but the Venom Pro um, this is a must buy. Um, I say for the money, it's $50. You get two magazines. 
Yes, this rev is a little funny, but if you get used to it, you know, I don't know. My buddy says he doesn't like it in the left hand. I, I honestly, just knowing, just naturally gripping, I wouldn't concentrate on pushing forward or in the back. You just kind of naturally grip and it'll go. I think it works beautifully. I was thinking about using, a, maybe changing it to a uh, dual stage trigger. I might still do it just to do it because I like modding. But I mean, this thing's beautiful. I mean, where's the freaking scar? Uh, if you want to lower the FPS, I mean the scar, uh, we'll go over it in detail. So it, it kind of clicks in like it was made to. Like you can hear it. Let me see if I can hear it. Oh, whoops. Yeah, and it's like clicked in there. And uh, does it affect performance yet? But that's what you're trying to do to lower the FPS. Um, I didn't chrono, let me see. Should I chrono one? I'll chrono one or two. There's the other thing. But yeah, got a 104 and a 91. I actually shut off that second one on accident. But uh, yeah, lowers to HVZ levels. Uh, getting it out, oh, greasy fingers. Kind of twist and it'll pull right out, even though it was like a really snug fit and kind of snapped in. But this sucker is nice. Um, it's $50, guys. Comes with its own lipo. Uh, it's got a thumb screw. I mean, it's got pretty much everything I asked for. From them in a flywheeler so i mean i don't think there's like yeah i don't have much for improvements on this not at this price point like i think this is a ridiculous offering um i know this might be something y'all aren't into fine you guys spend money on a nightingale um the magazines the quality of the magazines is this is I don't have Nightingale magazines, but I've held Nightingale magazines and let me know Nightingale owners. I, I think these are nicer. I think they feed nicer. I feel like the spring is more responsive, um, but again, I don't own one, so I can't speak on it. So I have to like dig into my history in the past of holding one and using it and feeling it. And I want to say this is better. It's hitting like, what, I think must have been saying seven darts a second. And it, and it pretty much hits what I tell it to. I mean, at least from this range, I'm shooting like 12 feet, so. Uh, but this is great. Um, it comes with a little mini charging battery thing and it glows red and green to let you know when it's full or charging. Um, yeah, yeah, I don't, uh, you guys need to hunt for this. Oh, let me tell you how to hunt for this. Uh, you go to Target, you switch to order pickup, and then you edit your location. Um, I find uh, using your current location works best. And then make sure you have it on 50 mile radius and it'll show you if your target has it in stock or not. That's how I found this one in Florida. Then I was actually finding a few up the coast here and there in Savannah, Jacksonville, uh, Florence. So uh, a few of them on the way. I didn't get any more, I'm not greedy. I got my two, so that was good enough for me. Uh, what else? What else? We're talking pistol uh, sidearm classes, sidearms. Um, I think I did a little short on this. I had the triggers on this backwards or reverse. They were so on the wrong side, so they were like super wide instead of like in the middle. Thank you, X Fox, for embarrassing me on my YouTube reel or Instagram or wherever it was, but that uh helped me out. I was able to uh fix it. Uh, the tolerances on these pins, if you're printing by yourself, you know, I had to print these at like 98.5 or 99% size, mainly because they were really hard to get in. So maybe my printing tolerances aren't that good. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe I need to do a, um, what's it, the cubes you print to calibrate, calibration cubes. But I put uh, some other stuff on front. Uh, this is from Foam Blasted. It's his like two dart hopper for short darts. And then this, these are some files, I forget who's this from. It's on Etsy, I think. But it has like little things that go into micro X shots. So I was like, oh, cool. I think it can handle a two dart blast. So I have a two dart hopper 
and a two dart shotgun blast on this side. So we're gonna prime on both and I've got a three shotter. It's pretty sweet. Um, I had two of these on, but I was like, oh, I want it kind of like offset. I think that's kind of cool for my sidearm micro shot reshell, the hammer shot one. This one was the one I really wanted to do. But, and now I got it. I love it. It's sweet. It's a fun uh, print project. Uh, only cost me a few dollars for the file. Uh, what else? Oh, speaking of files to print, this is what I took with me to Florida uh, to play with. Since I'd be missing my nerve and being attending the family in Orlando area in Cocoa Beach. And so I brought this with me so I can mess around with it in the hotel. And man, uh, Moose has really outdone himself. This thing is awesome. It's, it's a heavy prime blaster. Uh, it shoots, I think one, I think I was clocking mine in at 190s. I didn't bring the chronograph with me. So I'm just plinking it around. Let me see what it does here. See what I got here. 172. It's on that used Ruby. All the other used. What else I got in here? 169. Maybe I lost some FPS. It's still very nice to me. 198. Again, used darts. I want to a dart. Dude, that dart looks terrible. Let's skip that one. Ooh, I've got the new uh, nitro darts in here. So let's see what a couple. I was curious as to see what those clock at. So let's see. 189. So I just make sure I wasn't getting a damage on feed. One of those uh, darts look like they're kind of messed up. So. Ooh, I hit the side bad, but I still got a 189. 0.52 identicals. I guess just let you know I'm not lying. Of course, this is a range of the different sidearm classes we're reviewing here right now. Um, this is the last one. So yeah, I mean, it's a heavy prime, but the trigger pull is super smooth. Um, now, sighting. Uh, for gameplay siding is a little bit of an issue to me because of the drop down the barrels here Plunger tubes up top. I mean, that's the way the build's got to go because the catch and everything's over here so um, Siding it's I like that he recommended to do this uh, This faux uh, red dot type uh, print first. It's a good priming assist and then it's also kind of offset to where you're gonna raise it a little bit to hit that front nub on aiming that uh, the front uh, and it kind of puts you right on you might have to raise it still a little bit more depending on the range but it's it, it's doable it's doable um and again it's a sidearm so I've always had issues with sidearms already being accurate just from the trigger pull being too rough and this one I mean, let me show you the smoothness. I don't have it one handed, but I don't have a lot of shakiness when I get to release. I don't know if y'all saw that, but I'm not really shaking the blaster, and that's that's good to have a nice smooth release. That kind of does everything on aiming. Um, it might not matter for short range, but longer range, I mean, this thing is hitting 200 sometimes, so you don't really want to be shooting people at short range, so it is a longer range weapon. Uh, so, yeah, um, I think that's it, guys. I think I reviewed what we got in the gnarl, right? Oh, no darts. Should I dry fire? Should I see why there's a dry fire. Better not break, guys. Oh, that sounded like really heavily padded. Did you hear that? Yeah, nothing smacking in there. I'm curious as to see the padding in that jump. I don't think you can break this thing. The plastic, does that feel cheap? It feels like Busby plastic, which can be really thick and hard to break. The Venom Pro, dirt zone quality, pretty nice. And then this stuff I printed. 
so you know it's gonna break because I printed it <laughs> um, but yeah it's cool to have doing printed pieces because now um, if something does break I can just print another one as long as I don't break any hardware most hardware is uh, usually hard to break to be honest my favorite piece is uh, my medium elk um, he does offer this in a long version a compact version and also there's a 13 round magazine and I might actually I tried to print a 13 round it fell over on me um, I guess I need a support uh, and because it kind of leans over there's oh there's extensions for these magazines too and these are Diana uh, the notch is Diana geometry but his magazines I think he has another design of the same magazine where you can make it change the notch to if to feed into a fire rat so if you need magazines for a fire rat I think moose has got you covered I believe unless I'm wrong correct me if I'm wrong um, but yeah making my own magazine is kind of cool too and it's nice and drop and if I break it I can print another one I just need some drum springs but and this is also is it empty? Yes. He claims dry fire. Dry fire breaking proof. And I've already done a bunch of dry fires. I'm not going to do any more just because it does feel rough, but um, she's still kicking. Uh, that's all I got for you guys. I hope you enjoyed the little rambling of the sidearm review and just kind of show and tell. Um, I like all of them. Uh, the Venom Pro, probably the best value out of all of them. Uh, the most fun project, that Elk. Actually, both of those printed projects are freaking amazing to do. The Gnarl um, might not be worth the money with all the new stuff coming out, but um, I'm more impressed with it than the Nerf offerings. Sorry, sorry. It's a sad day in Nerf. I don't know if you guys seen the reviews, but getting some magazine compatibility and jamming and things like that. Uh, the Venom Pro, though, it's like everything I asked for. I said I want a full auto blaster that doesn't have a bunch of crazy select fire that messes up. Uh, I don't want a bunch of huge delay. I want it to work right. Uh, they threw in two magazines. It's mag and handle. You know, it's compact and it comes with a lipo and a little mini charger. That's that's all for fifty dollars, guys. This is. I think it. I think they should have charged us double that. <laughs> to be honest um, I mean I probably would have still paid double to get that at least 80 I mean for $50 hopefully you find one guys I'm out